OK, so let's say I want to find the angle between the following pairs of vectors. So first one, we've got i and 3i plus 8j. OK, so it will be very useful in each of these cases to draw a little diagram to make sure we know what we're looking at and what we're dealing with. So i, so if I draw in uh, an x-axis just to start off with, so an idea of direction, uh, something to work with, there can be the origin. So i will be this vector here. OK, so horizontal and just going of unit length 1. And then I've got this other vector, so it's 3 along and 8 up. So some other vector, something like that. And this is 3i plus 8j. Now, at this point, if we followed on from the example that we looked at uh, in the previous video, then I could work out the vector from A to B, and then I've got this... Uh, uh, scaling triangle I expect and then I could use the cosine rule to find the lengths of the three sides use the cosine rule to work out that angle now in this case yes I could do that however it would be easier if I just drop a perpendicular here to make that right angle triangle and then I can see that actually this is just a triangle with base 3 and height 8. And so if I want to find this angle here, I can just use basic trigonometry in order to do it. So the angle in this case will just be the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent. OK, so inverse tan of 8 over 3 is 69.4 degrees. So that is a lot quicker to finding that angle than it would be to find the length of all three sides and then use the cosine rule. It should still get you to the same answer. You might want to try it out to make sure that you can get to the same answer. OK, so let's have a look at uh, number two. So now we've got minus j and minus 2i plus 9j. So minus j, so let's draw in a y-axis this time. So minus j, going from the origin here, and that will be point A, is just that vector there, going directly down one unit. Minus 2i plus 9j is going two steps to the left and then 9 up. So it's a vector that looks something like that. So minus 2i plus 9j. OK. So what I want is that angle there. Now once again, OK, let's say that's point B. Once again, I could find the length of that vector, length of that vector, the length of that AB, and then use the cosine rule to find the angle required. However, shortcut would be to continue that vertical axis and look at that right angled triangle, because I know that that's got a length there of 2. That one is 9. So I can work out this angle here. So phi will be the inverse tan of the opposite over the adjacent, so 2 ninths. So inverse tan of 2 ninths is 12.5 degrees. So theta will be 180 take away phi. So 167 degrees to 3 sig fig. And that is a lot easier uh, than we had before. OK? So... Let's have a look at number three. Now, number three, we've got 5i plus 10j and minus i minus 20j. OK, so if I draw in an x-axis, here is the origin. 5i plus 10j, so 5 along 10 up. 
okay will look something like that so let's say that's point a so uh, let's put that in so 5i plus 10j okay so then I've got minus i minus 20j so minus one along 20 down okay so minus i plus 20j and let's call that point B. Okay, so from here on, we've got two options. Now, we could turn this into a triangle, okay, and we find the length of AB, okay, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. Find the length of three uh, vectors, use the cosine rule to find that angle. Okay, or probably easier than that is if I drop the perpendicular here, that gives me a right angled triangle, so that will have length 1 and length 20. Now, what I can do there is I can work out this angle. Okay, so if I call that uh, phi then phi is the inverse tan of 20 over 1. So inverse tan of 20 is 87.1 degrees to 3 sig fig. And I could also drop that perpendicular there. Okay. So that I could work out this angle. So let's call that alpha. So alpha, uh, the base is 5, that's 10. So we've got 10 over 5. So inverse tan of 2 is 63.4 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay, so I've got that angle and that angle there. So now... If I work out that angle, okay, so this angle here, I can uh, add that onto alpha. So let's call that beta. So beta is going to be 180 take away phi. So 180 take away the inverse tan of 20. So that's 92.9 degrees to 3 sig fig. So that's beta. Add that on to alpha, so the angle that I want, let's call it theta, is alpha plus beta. So 92.9 plus inverse tan of 10 over 5, and that gets me 156 degrees to 3 sig fig. Okay, so that finds me uh, the required angle. You could use a uh, cosine rule but it will take you longer in order to work out all the uh, side lengths um, and is probably prone to more difficulty.